Hello and welcome to part two of uh, lesson number three where we're looking at our temperature checker script and let's dive straight back into our coding demo. So, uh, so far we've um, created a few variables, we've just created our uh, if statement so that we can check whether or not we've exceeded the threshold that we've uh, determined for our Microtik device. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to uh, enter a series of commands here uh, which will be executed if that threshold is breached. So I'm just going to get our next set of commands in here and I'll paste them all in in one go, makes it a little bit easier. Okay, so what we're going to do here is we are first of all going to create another local variable uh, which is going to contain the error message that we want to put into the uh, logs of the microtik and also that we want to send to telegram uh, and this is basically just going to say you know alert uh, the core temperature of the microtik is and we've substituted in um, the value of the variable current temp and if you recognize from our variable demo earlier we've preceded that with the dollar sign so that we get back the value of the current temp variable. So that's going to tell us we've got a problem and show what the temperature currently is. And then what we actually do, we use the uh, log command uh, and we're actually going to set an error uh, error uh, level for, that, um, for, for this particular message. And we're going to send the alert message content, alert message variable contents again into the log. So that should give us a log message on the local Microtik uh, logging system. And then what we'll also do finally is that we will, um, because the Telegram queue variable already exists, we'll use the set command to set that variable. And this, um, uh, this uh, construct here is actually going to take the existing value of the Telegram queue variable. You can see we've preceded it with a dollar sign. So we're saying, Give me the current value of Telegram Q, and then what we'll do is we will append the new alert message onto um, that uh, Telegram Q variable. So we basically take the existing Telegram Q variable, put our new message onto the end of it, so that when the queue is processed, um, our new message will be uh, there along with any other previous messages which have been created. Okay. And that is pretty much it. So if I save that now, I'll save that and it should hopefully get uploaded. And there we go. We've got a message at the bottom saying it's been uploaded successfully. So what we'll do now is we'll actually run that script and see if it runs without any error messages. So I'll do import and then uh, it's called temperature checker. And you can see that it basically ran. We didn't get any um, any syntax error messages, so everything seems to have run uh, pretty well. Um, so that that's looking good. Um, but what we really need to do is we need to check that if if there was a problem, you know, if the threshold, uh, sorry, if the temperature was too high, would we actually get the, um, the the messages that we expect? So what we'll do before we uh, do anything else, we'll just have a very quick look back on Winbox and we'll look at the current log um, message uh, list here and we don't have any error messages at the moment. We have, let me just tidy this up and just get rid of any existing global variables. So we've got a nice clean slate to start with. And then what we'll do, we'll actually run the script uh, and we'll see what happens. So what I'll do, I'll run it from here actually because then you can see the immediate impact. So if I do slash import and temperature checker. So, ah, sorry, there's one, one more thing I need to do. I need to just go back and let's change this to a lower threshold or change this to 25 degrees centigrade. I'll just save that. There we are, that's saved. If, if you wonder how I'm saving this, by the way, I'm literally just using the shortcut Control S instead of going File and then Save. I'm just using this Control S because it's a little bit faster. Okay, so now we've re-uploaded the script with a new threshold. Let's run it and see what happens. Okay, so we can see this time it's run and we didn't get any sort of output, which is what we expect. Uh, on the command line, but we can see we've actually popped a message into the log um, system of the Microtik, and also 
we've added a value into the um, global variable telegram queue which is exactly what we were hoping for um, so this looks like it's working as we uh, would expect and as we would hope and then the next thing we would generally do with this would be to um, just add it to the system scheduler just let it run every 15 minutes or so um, there is one more step I'd like to take just to sort of make things a little bit more interesting um, as it stands this you know this script runs pretty well and it's going to do the job for us but I quite often like to add a, a bit of debugging to um, uh, debugging code to the script just so that I can actually switch on some, deb some debugging and see what the value of various uh, variables and, and what the progress is of the script as, as it runs. And this is a purely optional step, but on some larger scripts, it can be quite nice to have a bit of debugging code. You can just flip on and see um, you know, what various values are uh, and, and see if you can spot um, an issue. So what we'll do now is I will actually pop in a little bit more code. So first thing we're going to do is at the top we're going to add in a debug um, variable a local variable again it only applies to the uh, to this particular um, to, to, to the you know the confines of the script we don't want it to exist in the global namespace table and then we're going to just add a statement which will print out what the current temperature is uh, and just this is just another if statement it's all on one line as opposed to the multi-line version we've seen here but it's doing exactly the same and what this is actually saying is if um, we've got a true statement um, in in the brackets here you remember an if uh, state uh, an if command needs a true or false um, uh, result in in the in the brackets here so we say if this is set to true, so we by toggling this variable at the top here, the debug variable, we can switch it on and off as we toggle it between true and false. It will basically just um, run the put command so that if we're running this from the CLI, we can see what the current temperature is. And I'll demonstrate how this works. So the next thing we want to do is add in a little bit more debugging information if there's a problem. So we'll add a message in here say so if there is a problem we'll actually get the alert message output on the uh, command line and finally we'll just put in a very simple message to say yep we got to the end of the script okay um, so this will print out to say that uh, script is completed so I'll just save that and I will run that again now oh, I'll run it on this screen this time so you can see what happens when we run it and, and as I say the idea of this is that we would use it in a debugging situation where we've got a problem we actually want to see what the value is uh, and what's going on with the script so if I run it now we're not actually seeing an, any sort of output because we've got the debug flag here set to false so if I set that to true which is what we do if we wanted to debug this I'll run that again and you can see now that we um, get the various statements. So we can see the current temperature is 30 degrees. We're actually generating an alert because remember our threshold is still set to 25. And we got a message to say we got to the end of the script OK and it's completed. So um, so yeah, that's just a, a quick demo of how we might put a bit of debugging code in there. So I'm going to put this back to a 35 degree threshold. I'm going to set our debugging to back to false because we don't want it debugging all the time when it's running from the scheduler. And I'll save that so that gets uploaded. So that's that's pretty much it for the script, actually. I think we're, we're pretty much there with it. If you wanted to, the only improvements I would sort of make to this is maybe add a few more comments in there. Maybe we would um, add some comments just to say, you know, check if threshold breached and generate alert but you know this is a fairly trivial example so we don't need to put too much in there but I certainly recommend as you get longer scripts you put plenty of um, uh, comment information in there to, to remind you exactly what various parts of the code are doing okay so that's pretty much it uh, the only other thing we'd need to do now is we would need to add the uh, script to the scheduler so that it runs regularly. So we would go system, uh, scheduler there, and we would add a new entry. And we'll put, we'll give it a name. This isn't the name of the script itself. This is just the, um, 
a, a label for the entry within the uh, scheduler. So we'll call it temperature checker. And then what we will do is we will put the actual command that we need to run in here. I'll just go back to here and, uh, and copy and paste it to make sure my typing is not causing us a problem. There we go. And we, so we know that that we know that that's that um, line of command actually works because we ran it from the CLI. So there's no no danger. We've got any typos or anything in there. And we'll set a interval of we'll say 15 minutes. Probably not too bad to check every 15 minutes if the temperatures going bad ways. There we go. So that's actually uh, running now that will run every 15 minutes. And if there's a problem, it'll uh, give us an alert in the log and it will update the telegram queue variable. I'm actually going to disable that for now because we're not going to be using that um, at this point in time. We don't really want to be generating any sort of alerts until we have got our uh, telegram queue script ready to um, empty the queue regularly and, and send the alerts over to uh, Telegram. So we're just going to disable that for now. And we'll come back to that in a future video. We'll re-enable it and uh, and see that running again. So I think that's pretty much everything that we wanted to do in terms of creating this code. Uh, the only other thing I would say is that we did briefly mention the uh, if statement. If you want to know a little bit more about that, uh, I've got some uh, code snippets on the marketingscripting.com uh, website and you can actually see an example of how uh, the if statement uh, is structured and there's actually an alternative one called an if else uh, and there's also um, some examples of how you might use that. Okay, so that's a, uh, another useful uh, area where you can go and find some information about the if statement and also don't forget there is uh, official documentation rate are available on the marketing website and also within the book I'll cover that in a lot more detail so uh, i think that's pretty much it for this particular piece of coding um, let's just check we've done everything we expected so we basically created our script uh, called it temperature checker.rsc we verified that we've got a system log message um, inserted when we had a threshold breach uh, we also made sure that we added an error message to the Telegram queue, global variable. We stored it on the file system of the Microtik device using our automatic SFTP transfer mechanism. And we've set it up on the scheduler to uh, run regularly. I'm just disabled it temporarily, but uh, we'll re-enable that when we get to the end of the project. So uh, the code for this and the scripts... Um, uh, for the whole series are available on marketingscripting.com so get along there if you would like to um, uh, create this yourself and you've got any sort of problems with creating the script you can just sort of copy and paste what we've created so that's it for this particular episode in lesson four we'll be looking at another one of the probes which will gather data for us uh, we'll move on from the, from the temperature checker to um, another aspect of the marketing environment which we we can use to generate alerts into our ultimate uh, telegram alerting system so i hope this has been useful and uh, i'll see you again on the next video thanks for thanks for watching bye for now